guys are always constantly asking us, how do we get more leads? How do we get this kind of work? How do we get that kind of work? The number one lead generation is just- There's only seven or eight stumps maybe total in there and I've, I've already got them all shook out real good, so they'll burn fast. They may think they got me bent over a barrel and They've only got there and there at the road farms. They don't have nothing further down, so I don't know, like, you know, you know what angle the lines go. But I've got this one pretty squared off. I think. That one over there, we've got squared off about halfway, and then the bottom of it comes in. So I think it's that that corner we can push out. We can shut this off and walk over there with me. There's a little rock ledge that I, I, I didn't go off because I'm worried about these tracks. That's hurt. We're getting cut on boots, huh? <laughs> There's a goddamn monster oak down at the bottom that needs to be cut too. This is obviously where I track over to this side. So you see that orange ribbon on this tree? Yeah. Right? right now it's, it's in a little bit. I think it needs to be straightened up some on this lower. Yeah, just start taking these up. Yeah, I, I think all that on that side's good. Well, I've already went as far down as we need to go. I think this corner we just need to pull out but okay. just past that big stump down there there's a big old rock ledge that I didn't go off of because I don't want to pull the machine back up over it. Okay? See also you see these piles I think they brought the pile to the property line and I reached in and grabbed some of the piles but I think I'm pretty sure that's the line. Here's the ledge that I didn't go off of. You talking about that one that's already knocked down? The very bottom yeah you can you can get all the way to it on that side over there but it needs to be cut and drag it up here. But it's really those two, this one, and then just kind of squaring off this bottom here. You might go on back down over there on that side, get that big oak moved, and then you might can come over yeah. from there versus trying to come up this, you know? We just gotta be super, super careful with those tracks. I'm just gonna light both these piles. I was gonna light this one here in the middle and then bring the top one down to it. And then you could probably light this one and bring that lower shit up to it. Yeah, but you get on the stumps there. Yeah, no, no other stumps need to come out. Some of them I pulled the whole tree over on that side just because it was safer than cutting them, you know. But you can't really get over here to pull these, so. Yeah, if they could just drop them. If they can drop them this way, it'd be fine, but. Yeah, most of them aren't gonna wanna go that way without pulling them, you know. I'd bet you can get down there though and walk up this way. Yeah. Maybe los otros es también. Es más o menos derecho. Pero este es derecho. In here. Oh yeah, atrás. See if we can sell that other lot. Hey, I'm going to look at that other lot. Be right back. This is John Seaman with JC Properties. You left a note in my excavator up here. Saw your equipment and thought we'd reach out. Yeah, man, for sure. What are you guys looking to have done as, as far as scope here on the lot? We're, we're putting a house up there, and obviously we want to maximize our view too. So I think there's some trees that need to come down for sure. I, I don't know if, are you up there now? I'm, I'm sitting at your lot right now, yeah. How long are you gonna be working up there? We started burning this next lot today. Uh, we, we piled it all up over the weekend, so we should be done really close by the end of the day today. Are you local? <laughs> About an hour down the mountain in Marion. I don't know how big of a deal it is bringing your equipment back. I, I'm not sure, I don't know if you need us to kind of walk the property with you and say, hey, this is what we're looking at. And are you just clearing trees or are you actually grading land and things like that? We, we, we can do whatever you want, man. So so my, my business is built basically so that we can come in and do everything on site so your framer's ready to come in and start framing the house. So we, we, it, in, in anywhere in between, you know, whether it's just clearing, clearing, stumping, grading, excavation for a basement, driveways, foundations, okay. septic. If we were to give you a call, are you, okay, it's going to take me a month to get out there or are you... Three months or two weeks or, you know, I'm not holding you to that. Yeah, that's okay. C couple months. We're, we're two to three months out. If we were to do it while the machine was here, we'd do it while the machine was here. But if we pull it off gotcha. and just throw you back on the schedule and remobilize, then we're, we're 
probably closer to three months. We're booking into the end of November right now. Is there a time that's better to do it or it doesn't matter? For your view, it's better to get the stuff down while there's leaves on the trees. Right. So, so that, yeah, God forbid you think you got enough and then yeah. leaves come back and you're like, shit, I should have got those extra six yeah. trees, you know? Okay, so you're up there today and that's it. Yeah, we'll probably be done today. Now, that doesn't mean my machine moves tomorrow. I, it, this is okay. a 60,000 pound track hose, so we got to get permits and everything to move it. So okay. it'll, it'll be here, you know, a couple days before I can get it mobilized. But um, I don't necessarily need, I, I haven't met nobody else up here, you know, as far as yeah. walking the lot. If you're like, hey man, I just go as far as you need to go to, to get the view, which is pretty much to the back property line that's what we've done on every other lot here is cut okay. property line to property line so that your your footprint's maximized these are kind of smaller lots so by the time you put a house in here and you get you know you want 20 to 30 feet around the house that you don't have trees growing over top of it basically left line to right line and then you need to clear enough for the house the septic area and then that's basically getting you to the back of the property line at that point you know are you, are you there today? Yeah, I'll be here. Um, I'll be in and out. I've got another crew working up the road, uh, so I'm bouncing back and forth between crews. It takes me, you know, an hour and a half maybe at the most to get up there. Okay. I'm, I'm hearing it might be very cost effective since the machines are over. It's it's literally saves you a few thousand dollars with that with this yeah. large of a machine to move it. I'll be honest with you, the first guy who we started on, he's. He took the brunt because we were only <laughs> we were only coming up here to do his lot, you know, and yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. and and we've yeah. done we've done a couple others, and I've just I've just saved them the mobilization, so it's it saved them all a couple grand yeah. each. You got a ballpark figure of what you'd be looking at to do the basics of clearing out trees and getting our view site. I do. Do you want to do you want to go ahead and stump the entire area or uh, stump just the house site and and leave stumps everywhere else? Yes, I hear both. 17 grand on only stumping the house site and then tw 21 if we're clearing and stumping everything so at that point you're you're ready to just kind of come in and do some final grade work or excavation for right. if you're having a, a basement you know Great. also i need to set the expectation that this lot is extremely rocky as all of them are we are not able to clean as well as i really really like to clean because they're so rocky until like the house is done and you do your final grade and you bring a smaller rubber track machine in we leave it a little bit rougher than i love but i, I literally just can't get it any cleaner because it's yeah. so rocky I got you. not yeah. with not with this big of a machine not and it's yeah. on metal tracks i mean it literally just slides all over these properties but we okay. did the we did the one just above you up there it's by no means a mess it's just right. not as fine as i as i like to clean right. when we're done you know so the lumber do you haul that away or is that something that can be stacked on our site i'd love to stack it on your site yeah I'll, I'll i'll before we go down that route i'll tell you there's there's not a ton of good lumber on any any of these lots because it's very hard to get even an eight foot section that that's very straight all these okay. trees grow really windy you know if you're thinking well you might want to mill some of it for you know right. some siding it doesn't have to be perfectly straight but right. for dimensional lumber you don't get a ton out of here that's really good it's almost all oak you know as far as firewood goes camping fires yeah. and stuff like that it's it's it'd be phenomenal for that perfect can i make a phone call and call you back maybe in 10 or 15 minutes take your time no rush at all we're gonna fight a little while to get fires rolling so i'll be i'll all be right. up here for a bit I'll, I'll call you right back i think we can pull the trigger pretty quickly okay all right i appreciate it thank you all right, all right. see bye -bye. you buddy. that's when that one's sold son it's sold You guys are always constantly asking us, how do we get more leads? How do we get this kind of work? How do we get that kind of work? And although there's a lot of great lead generation services out there and we've talked about all those, we always tell you guys the number one lead generation is just go out and do great work. Let people see you pulling your equipment, branding on your shirts, on your equipment. For example, this is the third note we've now received since we've been working in this particular development. It's a brand new development, no homes yet. Everyone needs their lots cleared. We came, cleared one lot, left the machine to be ready to be moved for another one. Got a call uh, while it was sitting there, started clearing this lot behind us. Uh, got here Saturday morning, had a note. Got here this morning, had another note. Uh, we're selling each one of these jobs. Every, every note that's been left, we've sold this job because they're seeing the quality of work that we're doing. Uh, we're pricing them up you know, fairly, making sure that while we're here, we're saving them a little bit of money for moving equipment back and forth not having to put them back on a schedule months down the road. 
And that's another customer calling us right now, probably to approve another. Hello, it's John. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the car and shoot up there. Okay. Do you need any speed? Do you need down? Do you need what do you need? Nah, not not on this, man. Just come on up here. We'll walk it. I'll uh, I'll send you something over. Click approve on that. We'll get started. There's we don't really have any money in, in, in clearing these lots other than our overhead and some fuel. We don't need nothing up front. Okay, great. Give me a couple hours, so I'll be up there. Uh, all right. Thank you, sir. All right, thanks, John. All right. All right. Goodbye. So, this goes to show. This guy did good work, good quality work. Make sure your job looks great at the end of the day. Make sure you clean up as best as possible. Price stuff fairly so that you stay busy year round. And work just keeps on coming in, it's that simple. Hey amigo. Hey. Lunch. I watch you today. Hopes and dreams. <laughs> Un cinto, gordo. Un cinto. There goes the air. Good lunch, gordo. Thank you, Thanks for me. You've got plenty of room down that way for your septic, so your house can set back behind the driveway, you know. Mm -hmm. So you can definitely leave that in the island as well as the other three, you know. That one side, it'll very likely end up falling yeah, uh, in so the winter time happens. when it gets. What's that? Is that good? Cool? You could cut it off and save the the, the higher half, you know, yeah. for sure. But that lean's so heavy. Yeah. Uh, once you get some ice and stuff on it, it'll keep going. Split it. Yeah. No, I'm leaning on you. I mean, in terms oh, of, okay. don't let me do something stupid. I will, man. Basically, side to side, all the way down to that back line. Which even going that far, you know, you're still going to have a little bit of a buffer. It's all. It'll all be back to raw dirt and and, and stone. And we typically like to groom it a little bit more than you know we can. In some counties you ha you have to go ahead and get an excavation permit, um, and then they like to see something happen as far as the build goes within a year and a half of that. Yeah. Here, no, yeah. Yeah, it's a wild. I, I didn't think it was. Yeah, it's a wild west up here, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so, I mean, as far as the development goes, probably even no excavation permits for that. You know, if you went ahead and got your septic evaluation done now that permit's only good for a year and a half okay. before you were to actually put it in do we're, it. we're not doing that yet you, and you don't want to do that until you finalize the house and know exactly how many bedrooms and stuff you're going to do on that you come out and do environmental and they tell you yeah this is good for three bedrooms and you decide to add a bedroom to the house then you got to start that whole process all over you know down there lower um we don't want to stump everything completely yeah. down there because that's where going into the environmental with the soil and stuff you don't want to disturb a bunch of soils if this was another lot somewhere else i'd say look we're not stumping past the house site uh, because we don't want to disturb the soil here these roots they're not going two or three feet deep yeah. because it's so rocky if this was clay and you had you know roots that are going down 10 or 15 feet and we're having to dig a big huge root ball up that could disturb the soil and then yeah. you could potentially ruin a, a septic site but here it's you're okay. We're pushing these right over because they're not they're oh, just really? sitting on top of a rock, you know. We can start as soon as we're done on that one tomorrow. The brush is burning really fast over there. Uh, we probably won't be able to burn this until this weekend um, because it's, it's getting too dry now. We can go ahead and get them down, staged up in multiple piles, and then this weekend it's supposed to rain. So we'll probably, I'll just be here on site while it's raining. It should take us about two days to uh, knock everything over, stack it all up. If we could burn, we'd start burning as we started. And then, you know, two to three days were complete. Uh, well, perfect. Okay. All right. Appreciate it, man. Getting a little sketchy. Dude, I about burnt my fucking sleeve on it. <laughs> okay, it's hot. Yeah, I know, man. I seen it. I could see it glowing. It's about all the brush. I mean, there's a little bit at the bottom left. We'll come up in the truck. I'm going to show you this next one. We're going to start off. If y'all weren't about to burn down the country, I'd just say come on over here with the machine and start clearing on this one. Maybe you can leave them there to watch that. This one flatter? Oh yeah, much better. This is where it starts and it ends down there at that other caution tape. It's just the front that's marked. I'll go down there right now and mark these two sides. So we're going to leave all the lime trees. Co-dominant red oak, that and that little cluster he's going to leave because he's going to do like a circle drive. So that'll be like a little island. Come out up here. Come out right here, yeah. Where the house Leave that cluster. So the co-dominant, that one, the other co-dominant, and that one. That property line runs right there here. Down to there. We'll keep on going. 
I guess just double check on this fire. Make sure it's died down pretty good. Give me a call about an hour before you're ready to leave if you don't think it's okay to leave and I'll head up this way and I'll finish burning tonight. Thank you.